Hello everybody and welcome to Toy Tinker Simulator. Now, this one is kind of uh, got a bit of a similarity to Workshop Simulator in that you've got uh, toys and things like that that you are sort of doing up. But this time it's inside a museum and you actually get to design and uh, do things with the museum and you get to display all of the things that you uh, that you repair and do up so I think it's going to be a really cool one this it, this one's a bit further along in development than workshop simulator was it's um it's now in full release it released a couple of days back and uh so I think we should have a new game and see what it's all about uh play it for an hour and just see what what sort of things you can do in it so uh new pro oh you get three profiles so if there's a couple of you sharing you can have your own there we go and let's play my sheet lab profile. Do I want to play the tutorial? I think that might be wise. It's got some jaunty music. Now, I feel I feel better now. The music's kicked in. I feel a bit weird, like talking over a silent, uh, over a silent splash screen. Okay, so the section shows your level. Okay, we have a level. That's good to know. This shows your toy repair progress. Okay, this section shows objectives and badges. This section will appear when you need to use tools and equipment. Okay. This section opens the music player. The most beautiful, beautiful music channels are waiting for you. Okay. This section is for changing the colour of your workbench. This button takes you directly to the workbench. Click this button to go to the laptop. This button takes you directly to the laptop. Okay. I guess it wants us to click on it. So... Uh, toy projects are here. You can get a project here. Okay. Get your first project. It's a toy train. And we can buy it. Okay. You can open or hide the list. So this has got more of a game to it that you're buying these. And I assume you make money by either selling them or letting visitors into your museum. So I quite like that idea. Right. Required tools. You can open or hide the list. So we need a chisel for this one. Required equipment, an ultrasonic cleaner. Pin, pin. Uh, buy required products from the market. So we need a chisel. Durability 25, that'll do. And then we need also an ultrasonic uh, cleaner. I like that. I like the fact that you're actually building up your workshop equipment as well and you've got to buy it all. Close the note. So that was like a shopping list I made. You have the necessary tools and equipment. You can start the project now. Okay, let's give it a go. So this list shows the toy parts and the required repair accessories. Okay, so... Yellow frame process can be started when required parts are transferred. Green frame process is completed. Red frame process can be started after completing fire process. Okay. Zoom in on the toy. My zoom in ain't working. Oh, here we are. Okay, turn around the toy and examine it by holding. Oh, I see, okay. Zoom in on the white outlined toy part. Pull up to remove. Drag and drop the tool to the correct location. Move the tool up. Okay, so you needed the chisel to get the wheels out. Okay, I see. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I've got a grabby arm there for a second. 
I feel like I do need to lift the, the other set of wheels out. Maybe not. Drag and drop. Oh, there we are. Gotcha. Right, I'm working it out now. <laughs> if I actually listened to what it said, that would help. Send the next part of the toy to the... Oh, send the part of the toy to the next process. Okay. So the toy parts with this icon are ready for assembly. No operation is required until assembly process. Like one of the marked toy parts you want to work on, the toy part you choose will come to the centre. Okay. Apparently that one. Needs to go in the ultrasonic cleaner, so does that one. Oh. I don't even know where they are. Oh, so our ultrasonic cleaner is actually over there. I am kind of struggling to take everything apart right now. So yeah, let's just carry on trying to take everything apart, I would say. I need to transfer parts to the ultrasonic cleaner, but I need to take them apart first, I think a little bit more. So let's uh, get the, we'll zoom in over here and get the chisel in. Come on, let me zoom in a bit more if I can. There we are. Get the chisel in on it. So I'm, I'm working on it. I mean, this is the tutorial, obviously, so I'm starting to get the hang of what I need to do and how it plays because these all do play very slightly differently to each other although the more of them I play the more likely it is I'm gonna so that one needs ultrasonic cleaning as well off you go so that's seven of seven okay so press the right click and get back to the middle of the workshop excuse me <laughs> bye bye voice froggy voice is back Froggy Shelab is back. Okay, so all the bits are in the ultrasonic cleaner. Turn on. Okay. We've got fizzed. And then send the toy parts to the workbench. So hopefully they're all back. So I've cleaned up basically all of the parts. Everything is now green and saying it needs to be reassembled. Okay, lovely. How do we do that then? Click on one of them. Oh, I see. You just click them back in. Right, that's not too bad. Okay, so all the wheels are on my little train. And then you just click them back in. Train is done. Take a uh, toy assembly is completed. Take a photo of the toy. Beautiful. Okay, I think I think we're okay there. We we did it. Um, I I don't entirely know how those top parts got clean, and uh, quite how we managed to get. Well, the extra wheels are on the bench, so that makes sense. But there we go. Toy chain is done. I like that. Okay, so now, back to the laptop and deliver the toy. Okay, so this is how we make money, is it? Active project, 290 plus bonus, deliver. Toy has been delivered, 290 gold, 580 AXP, and one new toy beginner. Do I get to keep it for my museum as well then? Or like the, the photo of it for my museum or something? So get apprentice, journeyman, master, museum toys, and active projects. Oh, okay. So we start off by selling them off, and then, and then we start to be able to get ones for the museum once we get to level fifteen. I see. Okay. Well, let's maybe take another one, and I, I, I imagine I'll get better at this as I get used to my tools and things. So, um, okay. Let's say take this. 
car. We need a sponge and detergent. Ultrasonic cleaner I have and a printer. So a printer, detergent and a sponge. I like that because I would forget about those otherwise. And then we go to the market. I can get detergent and sponge. Okay. And I need a printer as well. Printers are a bit expensive. So I've got to try and make sure I take things that don't, don't require too much expensive stuff or I could scupper myself. But I imagine as I get more and more and more stuff, it's going to be most of the stuff I'll have already. But uh, at the moment, I've got to be a bit careful, I think. So if I got to this stage and it was like, you need a 1600 glue gun or something, or paint gun or whatever that is, then I'd have to be like, a uh, different toy, please. <laughs> but as it is, um, I've managed to buy all the things I need. So we've got the printer now. So let's go back to the project. And accept it. And I'll get 370 possible income out of that. So I'll get some back. But I'm going to have to do a few projects before I'm going to get my, my full time back. This is just such a cool game. I like it. I love these things. Okay. So, we need a cleaning table, printer, and ultrasonic cleaner. So I figure we're probably just going to put the whole thing into the ultrasonic cleaner first, maybe? No, we're probably going to use the, the sponge and the detergent, I think, maybe. So let's have a look. Let's zoom in. Pull the toy apart. Pull the flags off, I think. Sometimes it is just a case of like messing about until you find what you can pull off and what you can, what you can and can't do. So you just like hover over until something shows up white really and then pull it about and yeah, you usually get the hang of it after a while. <laughs> Come here you, there we are. And last one. But these kind of games are like, they're, they're one of my new favourites. I, I really enjoy just like tinkering around. And like I say, this one is now a full game, so you can just keep going and stuff. And apparently these guys made some Art Factory Tycoon too. That's probably why it showed up on Steam when I was looking at it. <laughs> by the way, this is, um, I think I might have forgotten to, to say, it's by Tur Turquoise Revival Games. And uh, Grab the Games and Whisper Games have been publishing it, and uh, I think it would probably Grab the Games, because they do send me a lot of keys, those guys, that have, uh, have sent this one along. Uh, I believe I just picked it up on Key Mailer, like I always do. Right, so everything is apart now, so I'm hoping I can send them all over, if, uh, if I'm lucky. Oh, no, we're going to need to clean them. All right. Did manage to send some of them along. All right, okay, so we're, we're sending them to the ultrasonic cleaner. That's what I thought, but we also do have detergent and stuff as well. So I'm like, why did I have to buy that sponge if we're just going to ultrasonically clean them? I'm not 100% sure. Also, I am really hoping that uh, that this music track. It's okay for YouTube. I guess I'll find out when I upload it. If not, I'll replace it with something else. Okay, ultrasonic cleaner is done. But you can shuffle next next playlist. Okay. It just gives you a bit of choice over the music. But uh, there's nothing, like, I don't know if there'll be anything like uh, streaming, no. Some developers are nice enough to make sure that their, their music is DRM free. Some just don't care. And uh, you never know till you upload the video which one's which. <laughs> it's like, it's like roulette. YouTuber roulette. 
Okay, so I don't know where I put my uh, the other parts. So maybe I need to go. Oh, oh, I see. These parts need to be done in the cleaning table with my. But here we go. We'll put these ones in the sink, basically. Rub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub. I turn the tap off now. No? no? <laughs> I send it back. Right. So I've sent it over to the printer. I don't know, are we gonna like print a, a, a label for it or something? Like new? Oh, I see. We can get some flames on it. I like. Okay, back to the table. I think, anyway. Yeah. So we've painted everything red. Not so sure on the red wheels, but like I, I do like the flames. They were quite good. You didn't get much choice in this one. Like in Workshop Simulator, you got choice over um, how you painted things and what color. That doesn't seem to be so much the case here. This is more about the restoring process. Yeah, I finished my work on the equipment, so that's cool. Now, they, I, they, you were able to take like a photo of it, weren't you? So let's close the laptop and... Oh, okay. Maybe I'll need to just sell it. I don't know. Active project. That's, they're saying it's not 100% uh, repaired, but I'm not sure what I've not done to it. That's an interesting one. How do I get out of this laptop as well? I, I'm not sure. Laptop. No, no, continue. I don't really want to uh, go back. Ah, send it, to, it send the laptop to sleep. Okay, cool. This is my office. Apparently. So why aren't you finished? It's saying I finished my work on the equipment. Oh, there we are, 100%. I had to click on it and take a photo. See, I remember, I was like, where's the photo? There we are, much better. get our, our little music and things as well now. That's awesome! Okay. So now when I go to sell it, I'll get the full price, which is much better. Liver. And I've got one new toy beginner, 740 EXP as well. Oh, I see. So it gives me a new beginner toy to replace the one. Ah. So master collection. Currently, you don't have any master toy to play with. Level up and become a master. Repair master toys and deliver successfully. And then you're free to go and play with the master toys that you've delivered successfully. Okay. And my gallery of the things I've fixed. I like that. Toy museum, go to the museum, okay. But I can't do anything with the museum yet. So we need to do eight toys, we need to get eight toys together to open the museum. But I think we should go and have a look at it because that is part of the game and I am trying to show you what the game's like, which is, uh... so this is the part that uh, you end up going to. So once you've done a bit of uh, workshop stuff, We've got some display cases there. I don't know if you can expand it though, because that seems to be a very small amount of display cases. Go back out to here, can we?
start. Information about launch. So not ready to launch. You need eight toys. The museum bonus brings extra income for each delivered toy. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is a place to like display everything. So normally you're just kind of flipping the toys. And then you put them in this little museum, you get an extra bonus. Whether the museum can be expanded or not, I'm not sure whether I will be able to find out by the time. <laughs> Let's exit back. But you'll definitely be able to do toys of increasing complexity, seemingly, as well. So that's quite cool. As you go up in level. But it won't start you on the hard stuff. You get to, get to learn and then uh, go from there. Choose the colour of the workbench. Change our workbench colour. Honestly, I feel like uh, white is probably better or like a, a light grey because then you can see things um, show up against it a lot better. But you might want to change that if you've got, say, if you have grey parts, you might want to change it to a darker colour to show them up. Objectives and badges. So you get repair three toys, five cars, five ships, five trucks, five plushies, five trains, five airplanes. And I get some badges as well. Nice. Okay, let's go and buy another toy and restore it now we've gone and had a look at the museum. What else would be a nice one? I don't know what that is. What do we need for it? Sanding block and some varnish. That shouldn't that shouldn't cost me too much, so sanding block and varnish. Oh yeah, I was meant to pin it to the list, wasn't I? And then I can remember it. Right, so cleaners, uh, equipment, tools. Well, there's the varnish. Sanding block, where is that? A cleaner? No, it's not a cleaner. It must be equipment then. Yeah, there it is. 400? What? I'm never going to have any money. <laughs> Eventually, though, I will get enough of the equipment, hopefully, to, to pad out my uh, workshop room and actually start making profit. Okay, so let's go back to the project. The project is going to cost us... Does it cost us anything to take the project? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does, actually. So, let's get the sanding block on this. Where is the sanding block? Where did we put it, guys? Where did we put it? There it is. Oh, it's like a whole machine. Okay, well, I don't mind so much having spent, uh, like, 400 on it, then. Oh, this is fun. I like this. You don't have to actually turn it either, which is quite interesting. You can just magically do the back of it. Again, that's something I think Workshop Simulator does a little bit more realistically. Um. Now I need to paint it, apparently. Oh, yes, you need to put the varnish on it. That's why. So we're at the painting station doing the varnish. Make it shiny. Shiny. We send it back to the printer, okay. I'd forgotten we needed the printer for that. So what are we putting on it from the printer? We are giving it a face and a bow tie, nice. So that's a seal with a ball, okay, that's cool. Now we just take a photo. Toy assembly is completed. Take a photo of the toy. I love how it lines up beautifully for me. I don't have to line up the photo either. So it's gone from that to that, which is quite nice. I like that. It was cute. And you can tell as I'm going through, I'm getting more used to the way the game plays. So it's getting a bit easier for me to get things done. I should have started with that one. That one was really easy. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the laptop and sell that one. We 
We're just about keeping our heads above water with this. So the toy has been delivered. Two, two new beginner toys. Right, let's try this dog and see if I've got all the equipment for it. I need a paintbrush, varnish, and a paint set. Oh, right, so the varnish you have to buy each time. Hmm. But equipment you don't have to. So paint materials always have to be bought a new. Gosh, that one's even worse. And you need to buy a sponge each time. That one's horrendous, so I'm not going to do that one. Well, this one. Okay, I, I can. I think I can do a sponge and detergent. Let's just do this thing then. So let's clean you up. I probably need to take all the wheels off. Should imagine anyway. Pull the toy apart. There we are. <laughs> Just didn't want to do what I was telling it to do then. Go. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, so we've taken all the wheels off. Now we need to go to the cleaning table. Oh, I didn't pull off his little, little horns, okay. Little handlebars or whatever they were. Cause this looks like it might be like a, a cow or something. I don't know, no, maybe just a bike. <laughs> it might be a bike that's actually a cow. Well, you never know with toys, right? So all of these need little bits need to go to the cleaning table. We need to clean them up with some uh, with a sponge and some detergent. Or is it ultrasonic cleaner? Hmm. Okay. There's uh, one piece that's gone into the ultrasonic, and the rest are all done, to be done by hand. So sorry. There's all the rest to be to be done in the ultrasonic, and one piece to be done by hand, which is a lot easier. They're, they're off, right, so sponge and detergent. So the bigger pieces need to be done in the sink. There we are. All right, over to the printer. Right, I think we've got some stickers to put onto the, the bike. We're getting a lot, I think this is a bit uh, simpler. There's a lot more that I'm getting done more quickly in this one. So it sort of has slightly simplified it. It's slightly less um, crazy with the amount that you've got to do. It's slightly less like you, you don't have to do the individual painting. It's not as in depth, but you get to make more toys more quickly with it. So, depending on whether you like the super, super realistic one, or if you just like doing things up and it being a slightly more simplistic procedure, would would basically show you whether you'd prefer this one or Workshop Simulator. So, this one, very, very slightly less involved, I would say. Okay, so let's... Uh, I mean, it's natural to want to compare them because they, they are very, very similar games. Take a photo of my bike with awesome tigers on it. Yeah. And we'll send that one off to get sold. And hopefully it will level up soon. So every time I put in a project, I get a new project. So we're slowly saving up for all of the um, equipment bits, but all of the paint bits and stuff like that, I think they are fairly cheap, but they will have to be replaced each time. So that one we got 300 plus bonus. We didn't get a the so oh right, the bonus comes from the museum. Okay. But we don't have anything in the museum yet. So we've got 290 and 580 EXP and a new beginner toy to work on. So you always get a choice of five. And if the equipment and stuff is horrendous, 
So that one, we don't need anything new, which is blinking fantastic. So let's do it. Cleaner printer, ultrasonic cleaner. Okay. I guess we're pulling pulling parts off of it then. I'm starting to get the hang of that. Is it that chimney we're pulling off of this? No? Are little ladders? No? I might need the chisel for it. Now we do, yeah. Okay. Lovely. Next, the ultrasonic cleaner. So... Sending those pieces over. And come out of there. Over to the ultrasonic cleaner. See, I'm getting the hang of this now. Took me half an hour, but it's fine. So there's some things need to be sent to the sanding block and stuff. Oh, we need to go over to the printer. Okay, that's where we need to go. Um, something needs to be sent to the printer. Uh, bear with me, it's probably still sat over on the table or something. penguins on it I like it okay we're gonna go reassemble it now get flags back on take a picture should be able to get through these dead fast now you that was good because that one was pure profit that was 230 pure profit I didn't need anything except for cleaners and stuff so that was brilliant that's what we're looking for not like this oh but I get 570 for that so maybe maybe that would be worth it because it's actually a little bit more money that you get back so they've got enough i think to be able to buy things like the paints detergents sp sponges it's gonna be a bit of a pain that's a, that's a lot and then original parts okay so let's go to the market and try and buy all this stuff so paint materials orange and blue spray blue not not turquoise blue blue okay um a paint set brush paint not sure where that comes under is that like a a equipment thing um ah here we are brush paint Screwdriver size two. Nope, I need size two. <clears throat> That'll do. Utility knife. So the better uh, durability ones you get the more it's gonna last you so it might be worth getting the better utility ones if you can afford them but I want to make sure I can because there's a lot to buy on this one you get a good return on it but it's a lot to buy okay I think that's everything So this is going to have quite a lot to do on it, I think. So let's uh, see what it tells me to do first. So the cleaning table. 
and the ultrasonic cleaner. So we need to pull everything apart to start with. But it seems like a lot of that can be done by hand. The cable might be the original part that we have to replace. I need a screwdriver for that maybe? Oh, I need the utility knife. Okay, I need to cut it out. All right, I see. Receiver. Let me pull that by hand. That looks like it needs a tool. Right, let's send things to the scrubber dub station. Oh, we are keeping the wire. Okay, cool. We'll pop on the ultrasonic cleaner. Let me out. Then we will scrub it up the main thing, the main bit. I like that it kind of keeps its texture there as well. That's quite cool. Oh, we've got two scrubber dubs to do. Sorry. I'll do the receiver as well. Okay, so a lot of this got sent to the painting station now. what to do over here. I've never done painting before. Well, I have, but not in this game. One of two brush paint. I'm clicking on stuff and stuff in. Maybe I need to have the second part there as well. Send it to the stations. That's maybe why it won't let me start on it. There we are. Yeah, well, let me start now. That's interesting, isn't it? It wouldn't let me start until all the pieces were there. Okay. Anything else we need to do? It doesn't look like there's any printing or anything, but it does look like we've got one more thing to paint and varnish over here with the spray paint. So you just keep clicking on the thing on the side and it'll keep changing it over until you're done, basically. And then I think we can put things back together. Lovely. That one was probably the most complicated one yet, I would say. So we had a few new stations to learn. That's a big improvement, doesn't it? Lovely. Now, have we got time for what? We got time for one more toy, I would say. So we'll sell this one on. So we do seem to slowly be making a profit. It just depends on like how many things we have to buy for each one. So uh, we've got a dog, a tree, a teddy bear, sponge and detergent, and a filling machine. How much is a filling machine, I wonder? We can start working on bears. The one good thing about pinning it is it, it shows you a picture of the thing you're looking for. Is it that one? Filling machine is 1,900. Gosh, that's expensive, but Okay, now we can now we can do teddy bears. Yay! Slowly the workshop is becoming filled up with stuff. But I think we're still way away from the toy museum opening though. I think that might take a little bit of time. 
boo. Oh, do I not have enough? Oh, I didn't buy uh, detergent for it. Okay. I was like, oh no, why can't I take the project? Ah, I'm lucky I had enough money because that was very close to not being able to have enough money. But I want to be able to do teddy bears because they're cute. Also, they didn't seem to have many steps in the process, which is kind of cool. And I also want to know—I want to be able to show you how the, the filling machine works too. You would definitely have to take all this, the stuffing out to do that, because. Uh... So where's the filling machine? Oh, here we go. So we've got like one of those uh, builder bear, like one of the builder bear stuffer things. So cool. Oh, so you do this. And you <laughs> try not to plump him up too much. Yep, there these are done. Hello, teddy bear. So, you, so they're really quick and easy to do once you've got the filling machine. So I'll definitely take more bears. <laughs> That's a big difference, isn't it? He looks so tatty there. He looks so happy there. Oh, I love restoring stuff. Yeah, I like doing the teddy bears. They are cool. So let's go and sell him though. As much as I love him, we got to sell him. And now I've got to try and look for... Oh, look, I can keep taking teddy bear ones now. And all I have to do is sponge and detergent. So like, hopefully we can make our money back if we do enough of them. So let's go get some detergent. The detergent costs me like 15. It costs nothing. But we need to, we need to make our money back from this filling machine. Let's send him to the sink. But yeah, bears are, bears are dead quick. They're an awesome money maker. But the filling machine was a super big purchase. Done, take a photo. Yeah, bears, super fast. Super fast bear. Done. Once I actually have a little bit of money, <laughs> which I really do not have right now, then we'll think about doing other projects to uh, maybe show off a different piece of equipment. Okay, so. Let's sell the titty beer. What's that? That's another thing that requires sponge and detergent. So that's another. So we can keep doing teddy bears. <laughs> Just keep doing teddy bears until we've got a bit of money. Um, so that looks like it'll be some kind of duck. So if he's just wanting detergent, I don't really need to... I don't really need to do like a shopping list. So we're doing really well with like teddy bears, with plushies. I'm gonna get a plushie badge soon. I've already got some badges, five toys and a three toy badge. Nice. Right, so to the sink with you. Are you a penguin? You're a penguin! I didn't even know what it was, it was so dirty. Filling machine. So we've now made back maybe half the cost of the filling machine. Our plushies are super fast to do. And just like... Take a photo! Off we go! Plushie's done!
but I'm enjoying the process at the moment of apparently you can like do things like um, upgrade your office and things like that so inventory oh that's all of my equipment and things so you can you've got all your sofas and things so i don't know whether on the market you could um, buy oh yeah we can buy decorations you can buy like new sofas for the office and things like that um, but you probably wouldn't want to do that until a little bit later on once you've done a few toys. So once you've done that, you can start sort of, um, you know, that sofa looks a little bit worn. So you could put a new sofa and all that sort of thing and just decorate your office up. And then I think you can do a bit of decorating possibly in the museum as well, but I'm not 100% sure. This this workshop and office seem to be the, the main thing. I definitely saw something about... Uh, about getting the office uh, nice so like I'll, I'll just read you the description on steam so disassemble assemble toy parts go through the repair processes repair as many toys as possible to make money and get experience take before and after photos then buy furniture paintings plants flowers etc design your office um, buy and repair unique toys buy new buildings and design your toy museums ah so it looks like you can actually buy new museums and new buildings um, you know, I was saying that the museum looked really, really um, small. So you can do that. Level up and then play with the master toys after successful deliveries. So but we haven't really done much with the master toys yet. So let's sell the penguin. We are now level two. We're going to be level three pretty soon. So once we get to level three, we get apprentice. So we get some different toys. Um, and then museum toys are level 15, so you have to keep going for quite a while before, with this section of the game, before you get to the museum section. So unfortunately I probably won't be able to, just for this sort of um, first look, be able to show you how the museum works. But we did at least get to go and have a look at it. It's a little room with some display cases. You put the, display ca the toys into the display cases and you get a bonus then on all of your um, transactions. So I like the way that they play together, to be honest. So let's take another another one. We don't have any more plushies. That sucks. So what's this? Sponge and detergent. I think I can handle that. I need to build up my money before I take anything that has a new... Um, equipment needed so but then once I do I'd like to buy some new equipment because uh, and I can show you what it's all what it's all about I can show you more equipment and things so I'm trying that's just what, what I'm trying to do at the moment I'm trying to show you as much as I can before the end of the episode all right so uh let's go to project clean I have an active project oh what is my active project oh I haven't delivered it okay well that's cool so I could have had a new plushie, I just hadn't handed it in, but we're going to do this one because it's just a cleaning project. So um, that's one thing I would probably advise in this. Make sure... Oh yeah, we need to pull this apart. Make sure that you take projects, some projects that don't need like brand new bits of equipment because if you do, then it could be problematic. There we go. Let's go to the cleaning table. You might end up running out of money. So you do need to plan like a little bit. Not like hugely, you don't need to be like super duper um, worried about it, I wouldn't say, but you know, I, I would definitely. <laughs> Next one. Just make sure you have enough money if it's asking for any big bits of equipment, I would say. And the tree. God, you wouldn't have even known it was that colour. All right, let's go back in here. Uh, put it back together. That's going to look so much nicer. Oh my goodness me. And that's the thing I love most about this game is that like it looks amazing once you're finished with it. Probably more so than it would in real life. It's very satisfying. Again, like the I was saying, these toy tinker games, these sort of um, doing up things in a workshop games, 
they're not really too difficult to do while you're sort of watching something else on the side. You could be watching a bit of Netflix, you could be watching a stream, you could be watching one of my videos, <laughs> and you could be playing something like this. I definitely think that this is something that you could do while something else was being done. And I, I, I do, there, there is part of me that there, there is something to be said, okay, about doing um, something that takes all of your focus, like a really hard game and it, it just puts you into this real flow state, but then sometimes you just want to do something while you're watching TV. And this would be ideal. It would be good if these sorts of things were on something like the Switch, because I think that would be good. You sit in front of the telly and just repair things on your Switch, that'd be amazing. But not quite yet. I don't think any of these types of games are on the Switch yet, um, as far as I can tell. If they are, let me know, because I'd love one. <laughs> okay, so, let's take a photo of you. Or oh, did I already take the photo? I probably did, didn't I? So let's go sell it. Okay, so we've got some more plushies that we can do on the filling machine. Let's see if there's anything that needs a particular piece of equipment that I don't have. So that one just needs sanding. That one just needs the printer. That one just needs some cleaners. What's this one? Just needs the printer and the ultrasound. So most of the stuff we already have. Um, however, we now have some apprentice ones. Do they require any equipment that I don't have yet? That one does. Good grief. So I have a thousand two hundred. How much is a how much is all this stuff then? Let's have a look. That is ridiculous the list of stuff you need for that. But let's go and have a look at how much all of it is. So like a bench wheel, fifty. Uh, equipment. So what equipment is it? It's a, a, vibra a vibratory tumbler. That is 1800 on its own. A bench grinder is 600. The nickel plating is 900. I could have maybe <laughs> thought about some of these, but I think we're gonna have to save up to get all of those, honestly. That one is, is not a thing we can do. So let's have a look at how much money we would get for the next one along. Well, it's 350. It's 350, but I wouldn't need anything to do it. But then if I just did a plushie, that would be 350, and I just need some detergent. <laughs> so. I feel like I would need a lot more to do that. So I actually think we, we are 53 minutes in that I'm probably gonna have to call it a day there and uh, say goodbye to you all. And you can have a look at this one if you want to. It's like, I think it's even on sale at the moment, something like seven pounds. It's really not that expensive as a little thing just to tinker around, well, well tinker around with, ha ha ha. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more um, demos and first looks, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when they're out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.